My name is Sophie. Uh, I was found guilty of the theft and I'm awaiting sentencing. I'm worried for my safety as I am looking at serving time um, in a men's facility. My crime wasn't really that big of a deal. Uh, I've heard stories about transgender women in men's prisons and I'm terrified of what's going to happen to me. I am Laura. I am Sophie's lawyer. I will be defending Sophie during her sentencing phase. I am against Sophie going to the men's jail as she is in the process of transitioning. I am here to defend her rights. Hi, my name is Stephanie. Um, I am the social worker of Sophie. Um, my client, her lawyer, and Sophie are very concerned because she is potentially going into an all-male prison. Um, Sophie is a transgender person, so they are very stressed about um, the placement of where she'll be sentenced. Hi, I am Ayan Ali. I will be the judge of the sentencing phase of a petty theft trial of the accused was found guilty. Now I will decide on appropriate punishment. We are here for the sentencing phase of Sophie Thorson. Are both sides ready? Yes, we're ready. I only find it right for Sophie to be um, in a woman's facility as she is already in the middle of her transitioning stage. I hereby sentence Sophie Thorson for one year in men's prison. Due to the fact that Sophie Thorson has not undergone sex reassignment surgery, she was sentenced to serve her time in a men's prison. Despite the fact that transgender women are a target for frequent sexual assaults. Transgender people are approximated to be 0.3% of the U.S. population. And the United States currently incarcerates more of its people than any other nation in the world. Transgender people are incarcerated at a much higher rate than their cisgender counterparts due to the inclusion and participation in underground economies um, such as sex work, uh, drug trades, um, and other illegal activities. Uh, this is largely due to the fact that they are two times uh, less likely uh, to be employed and four times as likely as any uh, their cisgender counterparts to live in extreme poverty, which is making under $10,000 a year. This reliance on the underground economy is something that lands trans people in trouble with the law. When they go to jail, there are very few policies that protect them. Uh, up until recently, the Prison Rape Elimination Act included specific guidelines on how to protect transgender prisoners uh, from sexual assault. But there's not enough tools and there's not enough advocacy in the social work field to be able to properly protect uh, these prisoners and ensure that their punishment is exactly what was doled out by the criminal justice system and not anything extra. Many transgender people are placed in solitary confinement when they get into prison in order to avoid this, but solitary confinement um, carries its own problems and its own costs. 